I don't know if I've experienced that too often because even as an athlete, a lot of times, and even as an entrepreneur, a lot of times I found myself being that I wasn't like, I didn't have an, an in to be an athlete. They're like my dad's not a basketball player. I don't have any siblings who are basketball players. Nobody taught me how to play. So I was always of the mind, well, hey, if I can just get an opportunity against these other players who are supposedly better than me, I can prove that I can I can uh, hold my own in that space. And for the most part, that's generally what happened in my career as a player. As an entrepreneur, same thing. I didn't have an end. It's not like I came into the entrepreneurial world as some famous athlete. Uh, most people listening to this, even if you're a basketball fan, never heard of me before, right? Even though I did play pro basketball. So it's not like I'm Magic Johnson. Hey, Magic Johnson, we got to hire him to speak at our conference. It doesn't work though. I had to kind of work my way up. So everywhere that I've gone, I'm coming in as a, well, nobody knows this guy. So there's no expectation. Let's see what he can do. And then I just get to prove myself. So that's the way I've always looked at that. As far as the other piece, you were saying um, the imposter syndrome. What was the other thing you asked about? Uh, imposter syndrome, like, have you felt that creeping up into your, in your life today? And like, how, how did you manage that? And you kind of touched on that earlier about you didn't really feel you had that going on because you're always kind of self-motivated and you kind of taught yourself how to do things to prove yourself. Yes, exactly. So yeah, not really so much of the imposter syndrome for me is really just, uh, getting the opportunity. If I can get my foot in the door and show what I, I can do. I remember one of my first mentors who was a she was a full time professional speaker. She said, Dre, you know, you're a good speaker, not because you get a round of applause or you get the you know the smile sheets, as they say, that give you five star ratings after your speeches. It's when they offer you to come back and somebody else offers you to pay you money to give a speech after they heard your last speech. That's how you know you're good. So I knew when I first got in the game, again, for example, in business, because the first thing I did when I got out of basketball was going to speaking. And I knew I would go places and speak for free, pay my own way just to even get there. And then they would call me back and say, well, can you come back and we'll pay you this time? So that's how I knew I was good.